Hello again, this is Oliver and welcome back to yet another video, short video where I explain different analysis techniques for Sudoku. If you like my videos, be sure and give me the thumbs up and you might think of subscribing as well, be greatly appreciated. We're going to look at a little bit more complex version of an X-Wing. It's one where if there hadn't been another cell sitting in the way, we would have a perfect X-Wing, but we don't. And we want to find out, well, what can we do when we don't have a perfect X-Wing? Now, if you haven't got the basics of X-Wings, please go back to my previous tutorial, 07, which is um, rows and columns doubled or X-Wings. Have a look at that so that you get the basics right. Now, the X-Wing is when we have either in a row or a column, we've got two occurrences of a particular possible. Now, for example, if we look at row H here, we can see that there's two occurrences of seven. There's also two occurrences of four, but we're looking for them in different notes. So look at the, the sevens there. And what we do then is we go up along the other rows and see do we have another row with just two sevens. And running our eye up along this, there are loads of sevens, but nothing anyway near it. Now, I also, when I was looking at that, I noticed that we have two eights, an eight here and an eight here. And if we go up the rows again, um, there's three there. The nearest we have is this one here, where we have three eights. And I also noticed that in this column, we have oh, three eights again. Right, so let's take this one. A row G with our two eights, we'll take that as being our base. And we'll take this one here, row E, which has these two eights in, in line, these two eights in line, and this, if that wasn't there, we would have a perfect X-wing. So this X-wing here, right? And we have this fly in the ointment, which is our fin. Now, what happens? There's two possibilities, either the fin is true or the fin is not true. So if the fin is not there, we then have a perfect X-wing and we can get rid of all the other eights in column two. And in column eight, we could get rid of the extra eight there in J8. So that's if that is not true. But suppose the fin is true. All we can do is get rid of all the eights in house four. And what we want to look at now, well, what's common between the two times? Well, when it's not true, we can get rid of this one here in F2. And when it is true, we can also get rid of F2. So what we're saying now is with this finned X-wing, we can get rid of the eight in F2. So the idea of the finned is we don't have to write off the X-wing. The fins must be in one house only. And then we can normally get rid of one, maybe two cells in that house. Okay, that's it. Nothing more to say on this matter and slán